Well, now we have the email client installed and we have our email address attached uh, to the client so we can send and receive email. The next thing that we need to do is we need to obtain a certificate. Now, the certificate is you know, it proves that who, who, we, who we are and, and that, that we are who we say we are. And there are a number of places to get them, some of them free and some of them um, and you have to pay for. Now, really the big difference is the one that you have to pay for will do a m more thorough um, look at who you are and make you prove who you are. Uh, but for the sake of uh, simplicity and expense, we're going to go and we're going to get a free one. And we're going to go to a website called Komodo.com, C-O-M-O-D-O.com. And then when you get to this page that we see here, we're going to select free products. And then when the page uh, comes up, we're going to scroll down here a, a little ways. And then we'll see um, free email certificate. And this is what we want. So we're going to click on free download. Okay. And then we have to fill this out. Now the browser is warning us that the website is attempting to perform a digital certificate operation on your behalf. And this is perfectly okay. So we say yes, we want to allow that if you're asked. And then it's going to prop in, uh, pop in the license agreement. So the first thing we're going to do here is uh, just supply the details. Well, my name is Joe Hildreth. And my email address, remember we were using, was uh, uh, HCTP Patriot at gmail.com okay country is United States now the next part here we need to talk about is this revocation password now this password um, if in the event that someone gets a hold of your certificate and you need to revoke it make it invalid so that you can get another one you will have to supply Komodo um, this password in order to revoke it now it's important that you uh, write this down, keep it in a safe place, and make it fairly hard to guess. So that's what I'm going to do now. Enter what I, I want to use as a revocation password. And then I'm going to put it in here a second time. Okay. Now this next part says, do you want the Komodo newsletter? Well, it, you can either when you if this is checked, they're going to send it to you. Uncheck it, they're not. You know, they're not going to send it to you. I uh, try to keep a, the amount of junk mail in my uh, mailbox down as much as I can. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then finally, it's a subscriber agreement. This is the license agreement. You can read through this here, and if you're comfortable with it, just select I accept and next. Okay. And again, it's saying that hey, we're uh, it's wanting to. Uh, do a certificate, digital certificate operation on my behalf. I want to tell it yes. Um, it says you've not clicked accept. I accept. Well, I thought I did. So let's try this again. We'll hit next. Okay. So now it says that hey, your application is is a success. They're going to send an email certificate to hctppatriot at gmail dot com, and or it's going to send me an email on how to collect it. Okay. So now that I have that, um, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and leave this site, and we're gonna come over here and open up our email and check to see if we've gotten that email from Komodo. I'm gonna hit Get Mail up here in the corner. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna pause until we get that email, and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, so we have the uh, uh, mail client open here. I see there's an email that says that my certificate is ready for collection. So we come down here and it says, okay, well here, I want to click and install the Komodo email certificate. So I'm going to select this button. I'm going to open up my browser and it says, hey, the website's trying to perform a, uh, an operation on your behalf. We're going to say yes. And it's up here, it says telling us that, hey, it's attempting to collect and install your free certificate. And we'll wait for this. I'm not, okay. And then finally, after a little bit, it says, okay, hey, we were successful. Okay, so now that we, we have uh, applied for our certificate and we've we've received it and when it installs the certificate it actually installs it in the um, certificate store so it's installed the certificate to uh, the certificate store and we can actually go and verify that by going to the control panel and I believe internet options uh, internet options uh, let's go there and uh, we look at uh, security. Um, 
I gotta look here. Is it trusted? No, it's not trusted size. It's internet. Oh, maybe it's privacy. I'm looking for certificates. No. Advanced. No. Advanced. Okay, well, this is embarrassing. Content. Ah, there we go. Uh, click on certificates. When we look over here, we see in the personal certificates we have the HTTP Patriot at gmail.com. So anyway, that concludes this part of uh, of how to get the certificate. Next, we'll talk about uh, how to get the uh, certificate in the uh, so that the uh, so that Thunderbird can use it, and uh, we'll discuss that next. So thank you.